NDP leadership candidates will spend the next three weeks traveling the province and debating the issues as they try to convince party members to choose one of them for the top job. A News Legislature reporter Shachi Curl has more. With just over four weeks to go in the NDP's leadership race, the leading edge appears to be with Port Coquitlam MLA Mike Farnworth. He's ahead, according to poll results released yesterday, although political watchers say when it comes to new Democrats, polls aren't always the best predictors of victory. I think the difference is, is that the New Democrats have a culture of participation that's quite different than the Liberals. I, I would expect to see a gap between uh, general public polling and the party because the party membership is more exclusive. Uh, it, it's more dedicated. The race began in January when Farnworth and fellow MLAs Adrian Dix, John Horgan, Nicholas Simons, Harry Lally, and marijuana activist Dana Larson joined the race. Lally has since dropped out, calling the process too expensive. He's since thrown his support to Vancouver Island's Horgan. John Horgan understands rural BC. He represents, he, he represents real change that puts people first. Farnworth and Dix have picked up their share of endorsements too, including those from the MLAs who worked to overthrow former leader Carol James, who was forced out in a coup in December. Party members are looking for a clean slate, so where do the candidates stand? Of the three frontrunners, Farnworth says he'll reduce child poverty and establish a provincial commission on education. Dix says he'll invest heavily in health care and roll back tax cuts for large corporations. Horgan wants a judicial inquiry into the billion-dollar sale of BC Rail and says he'll do more to protect farmland and working forests across the province. But will voters choose practical politics and the chance to form government over platform? After all, whoever wins will have to face off against new Premier Christy Clark and all her media savvy. I, I think if, if the leader can present themselves effectively uh, in, in the media, that would be a major step forward for the party. There's a whole bunch of people out there uh, who could be drawn into this discussion. A new leader who could figure out a way to do that would put their, their party in a much more competitive position. There is a long way to go. A new leader will be chosen April 17th. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.